Hey everybody, it's Andrew Cartwright. I hope you're having a great day so far. It's kind of still early. Here's your daily stimulus check, your second stimulus check, your executive order actions, memorandums, moratoriums, stimulus package update for Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020, just five days away from my birthday. It's coming fast. Find out how the House could today vote on another stimulus bill yes and why over eight million americans could be left out in the cold without a stimulus check and the showdown that i was watching following and reading about i watched it too in congress today between jerome powell steve mnuchin and the house dems over funding for a new stimulus package there was a lot of really gripping details in it after this For the best news and information on how to master and dominate your money, crush your money, business and life, right now it's a lot about stimulus, which I wish we were talking about more creative stuff. But we will continue to go through all the articles to help you get the money that you need and you don't miss out on the programs. We go through all of them. So remember, subscribe, like, and put a comment because if you comment down below, you enter to win $900. We're giving away when we hit 90,000 subscribers. It's surreal. Thank you so much. This community is so supportive of each other and of me. So thank you so much. Also, grab your two, I mean, your Weeble stock for free, up to $1,600. Just open up an account. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You get a stock. You can watch the other crazy game in town other than Washington. But first, we talked yesterday about the House of Representatives government funding bill. Yeah, like how. They only care about themselves when they come back. They don't even have a bill really seriously about us, which would keep the U.S. agencies open until December 11th. Yes, so they'll make sure that they get paid. This continuing resolution, which you'll hear them say CR, whenever you say CR, that's, yeah, that's what they're talking about is CR, continuing resolution, is expected to be approved by the House and could be voted on as soon as today but has little chance of surviving the Senate. Yeah, so the House puts a stamp on it, kind of like the HEROES Act from months ago, and it just sits collecting dust in the Senate. The Senate's gonna find themselves kind of rolled over. They might actually switch leadership if they keep this up. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, what I mean by that is they could end up becoming Democrat in the Senate because if, if they keep stopping stuff, Obviously, the writing will be on the wall. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi explained in a statement, quote, the continuing resolution introduced today will avert a catastrophic shutdown, wildfires, hurricanes, and keep government open until December 11th, when we plan to have a bipartisan legislation to fund the government for this fiscal year. Yeah, because they spend so much money. It's unbelievable. She also stated, we won't even think of threatening to shut down the government. Of course not. They want to make sure they get paid. Like, they all want to get paid. Republicans have been quick, though, to shunt the bill, right? To say, to criticize that it doesn't include financial assistance for guess who? Farmers. Farmers, yes. The food supply. They say that you got to take care of them as well as this CR. Otherwise, we're checking out. While I do believe that the government should avoid a shutdown with necessary funding, I just wish that they would focus on the needs of millions of struggling Americans before they worry about themselves for once. And I am happy to hear that, that the Republicans are concerned about our food supply. Food is so essential right now, especially we don't need massive, massive inflation in food. We need food to be less money, not more. Meanwhile, a recent report from the U.S. Government Accountability Office, one of my favorite places to go to for information, they told me that the last 2008 crisis was $16 trillion problem. Yeah, that's what it cost us, $16 trillion. So I love this office because it's the U.S. Government Accountability Office. I'm surprised it's even paid for by the U.S. government because nobody in the government really wants them to expose what they do, like Iraq, $2 trillion shows some alarming numbers regarding millions of Americans that did not receive their first stimulus check. Yes, you can count on the accountability office to hold the government accountable. What a concept. 
Findings show that as many as 14 million did not receive their IRS or treas uh, or a treasury system with 8.7 million Americans potentially just out of luck on getting their first stimulus check. Just forgotten, forgotten souls, like just lost in the wind, lost in the bureaucracy. The Americans in questions typically don't file tax returns or receive federal benefits, which is why the government doesn't have information on these people. So, hmm, let's see. The people that are the most desperate, the people that don't have money, the people that don't earn money, the people that we're shooing away are the ones that are in the most need, not going to get their check. Because if you're not part of the system, then you don't get your check. These 12, 14 million data dark citizens, yes, 14 million data dark citizens, 5.3 million people use the IRS um, non-filers get your portal and receive that $1,200 stimulus check. So they were able to get in there, 5.3 million. They used it, but 14 million are data dark. We have no idea who these people are. I mean, there's no, nothing. We know they exist, but we can't get to them. This leaves 8.7 million Americans that are eligible for that stimulus check without money in their bank account. I know I grabbed people that did not have addresses, did not have anything, didn't want credit here on YouTube because I thought it was hokey that you take somebody that is homeless and you help them get their money. I thought it was wrong to publicize it, but I think people could do their part to help these people if you can get in communication with them to make sure that they know that they could get the $1,200 and a lot of them could be eligible for unemployment benefits as well. And it's probably the best service you can do other than giving them a dollar. If you do not typically file taxes, don't receive federal benefits or know somebody that you can tap on the shoulder and say, hey, did you get a $1,200 check? No. Well, are you an American? You're going to get one. So the, that's the first $1,200 stimulus check that um, just go to the IRS website. Just you know, pull it up on your phone and see if you're eligible for the funds. Don't miss out on the chance to secure these life-saving government benefits to people who've never received that $1,200 direct payment a month ago. Let's not forget our fellow people, right? We're a community. We're all in this together. Alone maybe right now, but not alone, right? Alone together. I think that's the new, that's the 2020. Alone together on the internet. Finally, Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin and Federal Chair Jerome Powell are testifying today before a House of Representatives. I painfully watched it. Watched him, you know, lift in the back, lift in the, and it was like, this was, this was Steve Mnuchin the whole time. We talked. See his nose, and, and, and it was like crazy. And they grilled him over businesses and, and unemployment and the PPP program and the blanket forgiveness that they want to do. And Steve Mnuchin actually said that he did not have the uh, administrative authority, but they wanted to blanket, get rid of the 150 and below that they don't have to do anything. And the reality is, is they need con Congress to come through and actually do that because they don't think it's within their authority to be able to do that, but their intention is. And the only thing that really threw a roadblock up from doing that is the fraud that went on. People that got money that didn't deserve it or shouldn't have got it, or that's really what stopped all the good people. It's those bad apples, right? The 1% that just screwed up for everybody else. Otherwise, they would have done it. Um, they were grilled over the past and also future. Um, stimulus and they talk like it's happening all of them talk every congressional person in the house the committee member everybody talked as if it already is happening which is great i'm like listening going it's in their language right language is confession i love it and they're all confessing that it's coming baby they don't know how but they're looking in every area to try not to miss people and they're seeing what programs align and they grill them hard over the Main Street Lending Program because there's $600 billion there to try and figure out who could we get that to or maybe what banks we could get it to that could lend to other people and help all the way down the, uh, to provide lifelines for businesses and for consumers like all of us. The hearing will likely, with uh, Mnuchin and Powell, be asking the, the current economy, which they did, the SBA relief, which they absolutely did, and the 
billions of dollars left in the penny bank, like 163 billion or so. They talked about that too. They need Congress to just, you know, autograph a small, keep it going bill. Uh, so we still have a lot of money, literally 700 billion is what I count. Still, that we already approved that sitting in a penny bank, probably not collecting interest, that's our money. It's coming. It's coming. So you guys are covered for the most part. When? I don't know. Mnuchin explained in a statement, quote, we continue to try to work with Congress on a bipartisan basis to pass a phase four relief package. I believe the target package is still needed and administration is ready to reach a bipartisan agreement. They all talk that way. Um, we'll see if Congress can hold their feet to the fire and really make the Senate get it together to pass another stimulus package because obviously the more money that gets more printed, the more diluted the wealthy get. I'm kind of okay with that. That was your stimulus check and second stimulus check and executive order in action. Stimulus package update for Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. I hope you guys are having a great day. It's Tuesday. We're almost at hump day tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning into this channel. Remember the $900 I'm giving away. We're getting so close to hitting 90,000 subscribers. Random comment, 900 bucks in your pocket, right? From my account to your account. I'm so excited to give that away. And thank you so much for supporting the community. Please leave a comment because we need to know because this is so important in the community. I mean, this is ridiculous important. You may not think so, but it is vital to understanding who we are. Are you a cat person or are you a dog person? And if you want, say the kind of dog, but dog and then the type of dog, because otherwise there's some breeds I'd be like, what? What are they saying? Because we read the comments. I'd love to hear what cat or dog and type, if you want to throw that in there. And also you entered to win the 900 bucks. I love you. I'm Andrew Cartwright. I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.